Hello, hello. Just checking to see if anybody's going to join me today. Please say hi when you pop on. Hello, hello. I see a few people. Hi, Sandy. Thank you for popping on. So today, hi Wendy, I know you guys are used to um, having Jamie, uh, however, she is packing furiously to get ready to leave for the next show, and since she's leaving early for um, to visit some relatives, I'm going to go ahead and be the person doing the live tonight, today, actually. So, I'm going to, um, I'm going to show you what I'm going to color in just a minute. I went ahead and went uh, live a little bit early so I could get ready and be prepared. Um, I'm choosing colors right now. If you guys want to watch that, you can. So here's what I decided to do. So this is um, this is our stamp set called Life is Good. It released this past weekend. Um, it's got a scarab and an onk and a cat. And it's super fun to create with. So I did a few cards recently um, with these and I did a live to show everyone. But today I want to use this one in particular. Um, just because it's so amazing to color and so awesome. And then um, I want to make it into this. I want to make it into this. Um, this Rolodex card. Index card. Whatever you call that. I never know what anybody wants to call that. Anyway, this is Jamie's birthday month. So, and since she loves all of the Egyptian stuff, I wanted to do this and I want to put this sentiment on here so I kind of want to do the scarab and the sentiment and then I thought maybe I'd put some embellishment on there so we're gonna we're gonna stamp this we're gonna color it and then we're gonna create with hi Jamie um, and then we're gonna create that we're gonna create the whole card and everything so those who have been watching me at night you would know um, what's going on, but some of you are, seem to be kind of new right now, so you wouldn't you wouldn't know what I'm doing. But um, Jamie made me this amazing memory dex box right here, and I love it so much. And what I'm trying to do is create. We did this on a live, and this on a live, and this one, and this one. And what I'm trying to do is get all of my months filled in. So I'm trying to decide what I want to do with each month. So I did that one Christmassy, and I did that one a little bit on the Halloween-ish side. Um, and then I did April showers and May flowers, which I thought would be super fun. And now, since I really want to color up the stamp set. Hey mama, I really want to color the scarab. So I thought it would be amazing to do it on November because Jamie's birthday is in November and then that's what I'll think about every time I I open up my November. So we're going to color this and then we're going to die cut it out with the die cuts. I wanted to show you how close it cuts. It's so there's our dies are so great. They're so perfect. They fit on there just perfectly. And they also cut out the sentiments as well. So when you lay it on there, it's a very close cut, but um, looks super amazing. So we will actually cut them. I don't have a helper today. Well, that's not 100% true. I actually have Cooper here today. <laughs> so if you start hearing some little pitter-patter in the background, it's because Cooper's here hanging out with me. Um... But he promised to be a good boy and be quiet and um, behave while I'm live. And then we will watch the tran the rest of the Transformer movie that we were watching before <laughs> before I went live. So if you hear him chime in and say, Grandma, you'll know why. Okay. Um, 
So I'm going to go ahead and stamp the sentiment and the image at the same time so you can see the sentiment. Um, and that way I'll be able to die cut them at the same time and you won't have to, to wait on me for very long because I have my die cut machine out because I'm cutting make and takes for the next show. See, tons of them. So I'm on a mission today and that's all I'm doing. And I thought Jamie was totally packed trying to get, trying to leave earlier than anticipated. So that causes a lot of work to try to rush that in. So, um, so I told her that I would take on her live today to help her out a bit. Um, that's what we do when we're teenies. You can't wait to see Cooper. Cooper, Gigi says hi. Can you say hi, Gigi? Hi. Do you hear that little voice in the background? Doesn't that just melt your heart? That's super sweet. I'm not sure. I may have put too much ink on the sentiment, but we have plenty of room to be able to stamp it again if I over inked it. But I do that sometimes, so it's kind of hard to tell. Nope, it looks great, but I'm going to do the Scarab one more because I really like the dark, dark, dark background. You heard Spider-Man. That's right, you did. You heard Spider-Man. He's all decked out in Spider-Man clothes again today. All the way down to his little socks. And he's eating goldfish and he's watching me color. Hi, Donna. Hi, Allison. Okay. So this is it, the, the scarab. Actually, you get to color in everything, but I put a, a cool little pattern on the bottom of the scarab because I thought it was just super awesome. And that way, if you wanted to leave it just uncolored, you could do that as well. Or like just color the heart, gemstone, or just the wings or whatever. It would give you a little bit more of a style to it. So that's the reason that I that I put the design in it. I thought it was super cool, so I did it. I'm using Memento ink. You like the pattern? Yeah, I thought it was really neat. Um, so yeah, I thought it was super neat. So I, yeah, I put that on there to keep that special. Now I'll just clean my stamps right after. So you don't have to wait for me to clean them and put them back. Um, don't push that while I'm on, okay? I bought him this, um, I bought Cooper this really cool uh, blow up um, Captain America. And I didn't know that when you blow it up, it squeaks. It's like a squeak toy. And um, oh my gosh, I've been sort of regretting that since it happened. <laughs> I'm trying to choose my colors. I'm definitely going to use these, but this one I'm trying to choose, um, but I'm a little bit unhappy with the second and the last, so I'm still trying to decide. This is V09, and I really like that deep dark purple. But this is going to be, I think, for the wings, and I'm going to do the body in more of the bluish color, but I wanted... I, I want a certain color and I, I'm just trying to make that happen. I'm struggling just a little bit. Because I know what I want, but I'm not sure I'm, I'm getting there. I do like that. And then this is V06. Which is a little bit different. I think I'm going to need a purple in between those two. So maybe 17 might be better. Yeah, that might be better. Yeah, I don't want to go with the, um, I don't want to go with the standard 09, 17, 15, 12. I, I kind of wanted to go a little bit different route. So this one is V09, and then this one is V17. So that's a little bit like what you were saying, Jamie. And then I think I'm going to switch to RV66. And then I'm going to go to V06. I really like that. Okay, I'm, I'm feeling better about that. And then I need to come back in with somewhat of a more purple. So let's try V04 and see how that goes. Mm, I don't 
I'm, I'm not keen on the VO4, so let's try the, um, hey, Grandma. yeah, baby. I ate all my goldfish. Okay, excellent. You can go throw that away now if you want. I'm not liking that one either. Um, all right, give me just a minute and I will come up with the right color. Hi, Mary Jane. Yeah, um, I need one after the V06. So maybe, and the V04 was not right. So maybe V05. It's a little bit more on the pinky side and I kind of wanted to have it a little bit more on the purple side. So I wonder if 25 is more purple. Okay, stop chasing the dog around the house. Here's my um, last color, which is V06. And this one is V25, but I think it's gonna mute it too much. So I'm not really happy with that. So I'm, now I'm gonna go, this is what happens when I can't find the one that I want. So I'm gonna go, V06 was the last one, so I need to find V06 on here which is right here. And then I want to go mm, something with more of a purple than a pink. So I think maybe RV55 might work. So let's try that. I probably never would have picked that one. Mm, that'll throw some pink in there. Maybe I'll go with that one. Let's do that. I think that would be fun. I usually do one last uh, sweep of what the five colors will look like. So this is V09. And then I'm going to put it in my, in my color blend stand in the order I want to use it. Then this is V17, so it'll start looking purple. And then I'm going to switch to RV66. I, ooh, I love that. I love that. <laughs> and then V06. I love that too. I like to do the back and forth a little bit. And then RV55. So those are going to be my colors in this group. I think blending them together is going to look really, really cool. Hey, baby, please stop playing with Captain America right now. Please. Or take him to the living room. Okay. So now I have some blue colors, and I only have three in the blue, but it's a very small area. It's just right up in here. Um, and I for sure want to use a black, but I think I'm going to go with not a bold black, like you just said. I think I'm going to use the ends, so maybe nine, seven, six, five, four, just to give me a a little bit of gray blend. I'm going to use these. Now I'm just going to set those aside for now. And then anything we decide to add to it after that, like I really like the gold on this one, so I think it needs to have a little bit of gold in it. So I'm definitely going to do that. Um, okay, I'm going to put the stamps away. We're going to put those aside. I'm going to use for the gold. Can you hear that toy? Cooper, you have to stop playing with that for now, okay? Okay, sorry, I didn't mean to yell in you guys' ears. Um, but that squeaky, that was a big mistake. Before you pulled out my chart, before I pulled out my chart, you know, usually I don't use that chart real often. Usually it just kind of strikes me what color, but it just goes to prove that not, not everyone can just randomly come up with the color they want. So this is Y28. This is Y26. Then I'm going to use YR23. And when I blend all of those together, it's going to give me a pretty good golden color. And then if I need to lighten it up a little bit more, I'm going to use Y23. So these are going to be the golden colors. So if you can see those. So those are the ones I chose for the purple, purple, and that's going to be for the gold, and this was the blue. So those are the ones that I chose, and that's, you're making grandma stabby. I'm telling you, that toy, oh, oh, it was a mistake. It's going home with him for sure. 
because <laughs> that's what grandmas get to do. They get to send it home. Hi, Christina. A few more days and I get to see you, Christina. Okay, so I think what I want to do is I want to do this part of him in the golden color and this part in the blue color. And then from there, I'll just see if I want to stay with the gold and the blue or if I want to reverse them. We'll just see as we go. What, did, what are you doing in Fayetteville, North Carolina? Okay, so what I'm going to do is um, I've got something sticking on my desk. And every time I put my hand down, it sticks in it. And that's what happens when you're doing so much crafting in your room that you don't have time to clean in between. So I am going to clean that real quick so my hand can stop sticking in it, which will make me super happy. So I had texted Haley and asked her if she was coming over before or after the live, but that she wasn't allowed to come during the live because then the dog goes nuts and... It all falls apart. Oh, nice. That's nice. That sounds nice, Mama. Okay, we're going to start with the gold. I know you had to kind of wait through a little bit before we got started, but I, I appreciate your patience. I wasn't completely prepared for the live today, but... Um, we're just going to roll with it. It doesn't matter. You can color anytime you want and get anything you want out of it. So that's what we're going to do. So Y28 is what we're going to start with. And I'm going to put just a little bit of this kind of down the center. I'm going to give it a little bit of a design with it. Just because... I don't know. I feel like it. Just to give it a different style. You can, I gave you a big open space here so you can make it however you want. I'm going to do a little bit here in the side. A little bit on this side as well. Hi, Karen. Okay. So that's the, um, that's the one that really is going to give the shadow, but it's going to give it because it's going to be underneath this one. So Y26. Now when I make the gold, the golden colors, I, I usually do a lot of overlapping to really bring out those, the dark color and the, the lighter color. So you can see how that, how that played out there. I'll zoom in just a little bit more. Oh yeah, and I need to pull some cards too. So it's a little hard to see that darkest shadow in there, but I'm gonna come back after we finish making it golden and add some of that dark back in there. So you'll see it all like come to life as we go on. So just bear with me, you'll, you'll see it. I think Grandpa put something on TV for Cooper so he would be entertained. <laughs> that was super nice of him. Yes, and I need to pull cards and everything. Oh, I still have a day, though. Yeah, don't mind us. We haven't been able to do much connecting today. So we're trying to get some stuff right now. But anybody who's on here that's in the California area should come see us. Guess we're gonna be in Sacramento soon. And then Ontario, California. So a lot of California going on. I wonder if I should turn down my light just a little bit. I'm gonna change up my direction just a little bit so you guys can see a little more of the shadow effect it looks kind of solid to me i hope it looks better to you guys on your tv but okay so i'm going to use this one to kind of blend out that color now i might have to do a little bit of tip to tip and i'm okay with that or maybe not but i kind of like it a little bit lighter in the center i think it really 
It really helps bring some style to it. So I really like that. I'm <laughs> making a special package for you. She does. That's awesome. Okay, I'm going to go back in with my Y28 now and sort of deepen that little same area that I put the original color in when I started. And it helps that I had already put it in there once, but this is just going to show you how we make it sort of come to life. I don't usually um, double layer on Sweet Sentiment paper because I don't really have to. It really brings the vibrant colors without doing that. But when I'm doing the gold, it takes a lot of blending and work to get that more of a golden tone. So that's what I'm doing now is just putting in that accent. And I'm, gonna, I'm only going to be using these top two colors. And then I'm not going to put it. I'm not going to touch it with the other colors. So this is just bringing in that really deep color a lot, one last time. So you can really see the difference on it. Yay! You'll see us this weekend. That's awesome. I love that. I love seeing our sweeties at the show. I'm going to hold it up and kind of move it around so you can see a little bit more of like where the depth and stuff is. See how cool that looks? I really, really like that. So that's, that's how I blend to get that really golden look that I like a lot. Okay. I want, I really want to make like his body and maybe that stone the same color. I only chose three colors. I chose B18, B16, and BG15, but I may need more colors if I'm going to do this heart area, but we'll just see. Okay, so B18 is what we're going to start with, and that's what I want to do this part with. So I'm just not even going to be too mindful of the design because you'll be able to see it through the pattern when I get there. But for now, I'm just going to put this wherever I would put it if there was no pattern on there. Oh, I love it when we know who we're going to see at the show. I know we were there, we were at those two shows last year. So I'm kind of doubly excited because I know we're going to go back and see some of our um, people that we met last year. And it's going to be awesome. So we only have three colors, so I'm not going to do, I'm going to do a whole lot more of this color than I would if I had five colors. And I'm doing round the outside, round the outside. A little bit into the center. And then this last color that I chose changes from the B. Oh, yay! That's great, Karen. I chose the BG15 to kind of change the tone a little bit of this from blue to a blue green. It will kind of be like making it a little bit on the teal side, but not exactly teal. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? I love it. They were your high school colors. <laughs> Mine were maroon and white. But look at me, I picked those colors and didn't even know that. See? It's so pretty. I love it. So I'm not going to do the heart part yet because I want to wait and see how overpowering all of the other colors are and how they work out before I, I move on to that. And now that I'm kind of looking at this and I have the body done, I think I am going to extend the gold here. 
in here, and then the underside, I'm going to make those the blue. So, you guys know I like to do the lighter color first. Be ready for comedy hour. Oh, yes. Jamie's classes are so much fun. Everyone really like. I We always hear. And it was entertaining. <laughs> Hi, Lori. You are the bear cat. Have you ever seen a bear cat? No, I have not. Okay, so starting with Y, oh, we're supposed to start with Y28. I had them in the wrong order. I'm glad I said that. I started out by telling you guys and then realized I had the wrong color in my hand. Okay, so I'm starting with Y28 again. And I'm going to start building in a little bit of that really dark area. And I want it to be dark between the two areas of the beginning of the wings and this part that touches the wings. So I'm kind of putting sort of a lot, it looks like a weasel. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure that's fearful. Although I can't really talk because we were the kangaroos and I know that kangaroos can be wicked in Australia with that, you know, those hind legs and stuff. But it just, they, the pictures all look so cute. It's like, oh, these cute little kangaroos. Um, and we are always against the eagles, which is a way much more scary looking. <laughs> Hi, Tammy. What are you watching on TV, Cooper? Um, um. Yeah, like Transformers. Oh, Transformers. Okay. So I got Cooper to watch Bumblebee with me earlier. Um, I really like the Bumblebee movie. So I had Cooper watch Bumblebee with me, and then he, I said, you know, there's other Transformer movies, and he goes, there are. And I said, yeah. And he said, oh how many? And I said five. And he goes, I want to watch them all. I was like, okay, well, I have one of them. That you, <laughs> I have one of them. And can you believe no where can you watch them? Not HBO, not your handcuffing A2 packs of paper. Does anyone care if they are not exact? Handcuffing? I'm pretty sure you meant to say something else. <laughs> Um, so, anyway, I told him there were five of them, so we found one that we could rent on Amazon Prime, but I can't believe that, like, no HBO, no, none of them have the, the Transformers movies on there. So disappointing. Okay, so now we're on to YR23, so this one I'm going to actually do along the edge all the way around. I know that his, uh, these will be a little bit darker, but this should be raised up, so these should be a little bit darker. Or in my mind, that's how I see them. That's how I see them. Hand cutting, see? Now, I knew handcuffing wasn't really what you were trying to say. <laughs> Not really sure what you handcuff A2 paper to. <laughs> okay, Y23 is the last color, and this is the one that we're just going to fill in the rest. And it will actually lighten up some of this, um, the other ones, leaving a pretty good highlight right there. So that's why sometimes I go back in with the darker shade, some of the first shades, and redo because I get it much lighter. But I'm not sure if I'll need to do that this time. So I'm blending these out. And I'm kind of using this marker a little bit like the Colorless Blender, 
If you noticed, I keep going over it and over it because I want it to kind of lighten up some of that dark and leave me a really good line of the shadow. No one answered the question though. Jamie, I think it's absolutely fine that you cut the paper by hand. And if your counts are off, as long as they go in the positive direction, no one's gonna care. <laughs> if they get shorted, they're probably gonna care. Ha 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 ha. I need a little emoji sticker to put out there that has a, a laughing face on it. So when I say something like that, I can put the little laughy face out there. I changed my mind and decided to go back to the Y28, but I'm not gonna go back to any of the other ones, I don't think. I'm just gonna build in a little bit of depth with that Y28, and I will show it to you up close in just a minute so you can really see how much depth I put back into it. Actually, no one's really talking at all, Jamie. I thought maybe I just wasn't seeing comments, but I think people are just watching. So if I turn this around, you can see the depth I put back into that. And I like it. I like it like that. Hey, Grandma. Look. Right? Uh, yep, you're right. Mm -hmm. Take it in the other room, honey. It's too loud for in here while I'm alive. We found all the baby toys. Okay, back to the B18, 16, and BG15. No, that's because I think a lot of people are watching, like, from work or whatever. They're, like, popping in and out, and that's why it, people don't chat a lot. But I'm okay with talking kind of to myself. People don't think I'm crazy when I'm talking to myself on the live. So I'm just building in, and I'm using the very tip of this marker. It's very pointy, so I'm really happy about that. So it, it's a good tip to do this with. So I'm just leaving some, uh, putting in the real dark, siesta time, putting in the real dark color first. And the second color is going to also be very light because even though there's only three colors, I really want more of the BG to shine through. And this is such a small space that I'm going to do my best to keep this very, very thin here. So, I'll just talk a little bit. Hi, Adriana. Okay, I hope I said your name right. Um, so, <laughs> so, I'm cutting the make, make, make and take that we're doing at the booth and trying to watch a movie and trying to still be able to hear the movie. And Dale's working in the living room, um, work work, and... Um, I have to turn the TV up really loud or I can't hear it over the scanning cut. And, I mean, over the Gemini and over the Cooper talking and everything. So, um, <laughs> he comes, Dale comes in and he's like, can you turn that down? I'm trying to have a conference call. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm making a ton of noise in here. Okay, so this is what we have so far. And now I think what I'm going to do is go in with the black and start doing the these parts right here. That will bring out some of the black that's in the, in the body. So I probably won't need this many in colors, but I'm going to pull them out just in case because I might have to hop around them. And this is the five that I will be hopping around. So N9, 7, 6, 5, and 4. I am going to start with the 9 because it's going to be my darkest one. And I'm going to start putting that one the closest to the body and where they connect on the top and the bottom of the legs 
of the little beetle legs. So just putting in a little bit of that really dark depth in there. You just finished your making takes. Good job. I have about 110 completed. I need 200 at least. And then I cut these pieces, but I don't know how many it is. So I'll be cutting the rest of today for sure. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit in these corners. You won't be able to see it a whole lot. And then right along here. But I feel the need to do it, so. I think in the end it'll be really good. I think I'm gonna skip seven and I'm gonna go to six and see how that looks. And then maybe we'll just cut this down to three colors. So finishing this part. I want to kind of put make this a little hairy. So I'm gonna kind of put some lines where I was gonna say the artist, but I'm the artist, so where the artist put those lines because <laughs> that's what I kind of wanted it to be was um, kind of like that little bit of hairy look. So I'm just going to go over it one more time to make sure it's awesome. I'm going to leave a little bit up here because this one is bigger than this one down here was. And I think I'm also going to leave the ones closest to the heart left like it is. Hi, Lori. You could probably just color the, um, the little legs all one color and people probably wouldn't notice. So I took out the seven and the five and I'm just going to stick with the nine, the six, and the four because these are such small areas oh and look I missed his face so I'm gonna have to go back in with the last and I think these three colors will be enough for his little feet and arms so I'm just blending them out and I'm trying not to go over too much the lines I put in with the six. So it really show a little bit of, um, I'm going to do it a little bit more here because when I looked up at the TV camera, it looked like it wasn't showing quite what I wanted it to. So I went back on that. going to jump back to the N6 so I can do his little face here. So I just put a little bit of the six in there and now I'm gonna go in with the last one, which is the four. And I'm just gonna do a little bit of a back and forth. I want you to be able to see those little eyes that I drew in there. If we have to, we can go back over them. No, you can see them. So we don't really need to. That looks pretty good. There we go. All right, so I'm liking this little guy so far. Hi, Julie. All right, so we really only needed three of the end, end numbers. And now we're gonna go with making those wings look just gorgeous. So we're gonna use some pink and purple. V09, D17, RV66, V06, and RV55. Those are the colors that we're gonna use. So we're gonna start with the V09. And I'm gonna start down here at the bottom. The way that I see it is this one's on top, then this one's behind, this one's behind, this one's behind, and so forth, all the way back. So I'm gonna start down here, whatever's closest to his body is gonna get some of that depth. And then I'm gonna start doing just the overlapped wing. 
the closest to the body and then this part that's supposed to be under me. I'm going to do one side at a time. One side at a time. So you can already see a little bit of depth showing up on this one. So when I start getting close to this part because it's not double layered, I'm going to make my line that's up close to the body thinner. And then I'm not going to put one on this top one because it is the one on top. But I am going to put it right up here against against the, the little arm, if you will. I'm pretty sure it's not really an arm, but you know what I mean. Okay, so now we're going to move to V17, which is also very purple. So I'm just going to go over the line where the white and the dark purple meet up. So on these smaller wings, they'll be darker down here, but they are in more shadow. And they won't have as much color and contrast as the ones as I get up further on the wings. So this almost on the screen kind of looks like they're pretty close to the same color. But when I start moving into that pink, it's going to make a big difference. Now this one starts to curve under, so with the next, I'm going to put just a tad bit up here, and then with the next color you'll see more. Okay, so RV66 is the next one in the color. This one's going to change to more of a pink tone, which is totally fine. It just gives a whole whole lot more color and design to the ones that we have. Oh my gosh, Cooper just found the one other toy that annoys me. Okay, see how pretty that is? Oh my gosh, up against that blue, isn't that just gorgeous? love it. This one is so fun to color. It was super fun to draw too, I'm not going to lie. And the, uh, the onk is pretty fun to color too. But I couldn't get both of them on one, um, on one card, so... where I'm going to start building out that really light color here. That one's at the top. Looks regal. It's so pretty. Isn't it pretty? And really it's pretty easy to color because I'm really just extending out the color from where I put each one. And if you think about it, being that one on top, that one underneath it, underneath, 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 it makes it pretty easy. They're not going everywhere. They're all going in one direction. It just makes it easier, I think. So even though it looks very complex, it's very <laughs> simple to color. I knew you found that Shrek baby. Okay, so these bottom ones, they're gonna get, those bottom two are gonna get this last color, V06, and then that's it. I'm gonna leave a teeny bit on the third one for the very last color. And we'll just start building from there, extending out and leaving the tips of the wings for the last color. Now there'll be more of the last color in these ones up here because they're significantly bigger wings and they're more closer to the light. So 
So that's my plan and that's the reason that I do it that way. There we go. So that left us a little bit. You have two off tattoos and no scarab. Oh my, for reals? Guess I didn't realize that. That would make an amazing tattoo. A scarab would be so be could be so awesome. Okay, RV55. Going down in the same place. I'm gonna start on this one that I had some color left over. Some area that I could put this color in. And now I'm just blending that out. It's gonna make these a little bit lighter. But I really like it. Look at how pretty that is. You also have stitched twice. I knew that. I did know that. As we get up here towards the top, you're going to really start seeing that pink a little bit more because there's going to be more of that pink on the wings. But it really makes it look like the other side of those wings are tucked underneath because they're so much darker. And I'm just coloring over it until I smooth out that color so you don't see the lines. I mean, look at it almost glows. It looks like it's glowing. And it looks, hi Kelly, it looks a little funny right here because there's a sparkle in the paper that's shining through and the camera, the light from the camera is catching it, but I can't see it here. I can only see it when I'm looking at the TV screen. It's pretty cool though. Before I move on to the other side, I want you guys to see this up close, how beautiful that is. And look at all the shimmer in it from the paper. All that sparkly is from the Sweet Sentiment paper. Isn't that beautiful? Mmm, love it. I'm super happy with these colors. I'm glad I went with these colors. Okay, the 09 again. I'm going to turn it around, kind of upside down for my start with this one. Because I'm going to go along the same way that I did on the other one. With, up against the body and then under the wing. Against the body, under the wing. Same thing, so it's the same process, just keep doing it. My lines get a little bit thicker as I get up closer because the wing is bigger. But I get a little bit thinner here because it's not double layered there. Okay, now remember we didn't do, hi Stacy, we didn't do um, a whole lot here with that darkest color because that's the, that's the wing that's on top. That's the part of the wing that's on top. It's the, the one you can see that can get the most light. Okay, D17 is next. And again, we're just going, extending out a little bit further than when we put that original color. So I'm using like barely any pressure. Very, very light. I don't want to leave a lot of color on the paper. So I'm touching the paper really super light. I almost think the pop on this depends on what shades of color that you use on this particular one. And that's why I like to mix the colors. So I mix the RVs with the Vs and I mix the BG 
with the bees to really make that that design pop. Mm, maybe just a tad on the tip of the wing. Hi Tiffany. Hey, hey. How are you? Color Ness is here today. RV66 is next. Oops, I turned it the wrong way. Okay, so this is the one. It's going to get just a little bit more of that color. It's not going to get the last color. Just blending it out so it, it smooths the color over and puts a little bit of that or that pink color to it. You missed a big chunk. <laughs> it's okay. You can always go back and watch the replay. Because this is just coming out so beautifully. I'm, I'm really happy with how this is coming out. So there we go. We're almost done with this color. We get one more. Two more, actually. So just a little bit, not too much on that top one. I guess I could leave them upside down since you live in the UK and you'll be able to purchase them. What pens are these? I've never seen them before and I live in the UK. Will I be able to purchase them? These, the markers that I'm using, they're the Copic, uh, the Copic Sketch. They're made in Japan. They're amazing. They're my favorite. And they're alcohol markers. And I'm pretty sure you can get them. I mean, I don't know if you have any locals that can get them there, but... I'm not sure about being able to get them, but I'm pretty sure you can. I mean, I think we know some people in the UK that have used that, have used Copic markers. This one is V06, and we're just extending out and leaving a little bit of white area for our last color. There'll be a little bit more on each, each wing. for us to apply that last color. But yes, these are Copic um, Sketch. They do have Copic Chow markers, which is really similar. They're less expensive, but they hold less ink in them. And since I color all the time, I, um, I need the ones that hold more ink. <laughs> Plus, I love that they have the numbers on the caps, especially so you guys can see them when I'm coloring and I can see them when I'm choosing colors. They're on the body as well, right here, but the chow only has them on the body, so that makes it a little bit more challenging. So this is my RV55, and this is where I'm adding in that last color. Coloring is just amazing how I get the shading and everything. It's just wow. Yeah, they, they're the best. I mean, well, they are to me. Uh, there are a lot of people that have tried a lot of other ones, and there are some people who can get some amazing results out of different alcohol markers. But for me, um, the Copic are the higher-end artist edition, and I am an artist. I actually drew this image um, for our stamp set. And I started with them, so going to the less expensive ones, I just cannot do it. They're just not as good to me as these. But I think people who start with different ones can get really good results. But for us, these are our favorites. We're 
here, Copic bound. But yes, they blend extremely nice. You can get Copic in the UK all over. They're very widely sold, yes. They're an investment, they're super amazing, and they're well worth the money. So I noticed a little difference I did on this one versus this one. So I'm going to go back. Pro Marker by Windsor Newton, but they have lots more colors and different nibs. And they're refillable and the nibs are replaceable. I'm just going to go back in real quick because I noticed on the other side, I believe I put some V06 on the edges of that top. Um, wing and I was missing it on this side it was too bright so I went back in and I added just a little bit so that they would look fairly equal so the thing the thing that I love about the Copics are I've owned these for more than 15 years um, same markers I refill them I change the nibs when they need it I put my name on it so nobody steals it um, not that they do it on purpose. I don't have any problems with that. But when I go to a, a retreat or something, you sometimes people are missing a color and I share. And then what happens, they end up with yours in their stash. And when they're putting them away, they don't know because if they don't have a name on them, they all look the same. So I added my name for that particular reason. Okay. So my struggle here now is I want to make this blue, but I'm trying to decide if I want the outside to be black or gold. And I'm thinking black because there's a, quite a bit of gold on here. So I think I'm going to go with the black or gray, if you will, because nothing is truly, truly black. Um, this one is the N9, and I'm going to use it quite liberally in some areas because I want it to be pretty dark. I'm going to do a little bit here and I'm going to try to just touch the inside line and extend out a little bit, but I don't want to um I don't want to do the whole thing. I just want to put some dark in there so when I blend out the next color, it'll look really good. Yeah, they're amazing. And we do coloring lives all the time. Whew, good job, Jamie. I also have the, the after show inventory sheet and the packing list printed and the before inventory sheet so we can talk after this live. What's the little purple stand thing you use? I'm so sorry for all the questions. Just new. Oh, no worries at all. Ask questions. We love questions. So this is, um, this is called our color blend stand. It holds the Copic sketch markers. The chow markers fit in there too, but they're just not as secure in there like these are. Um, we, it's, we 3D print them and they're made um, by Ledoux Designs, specifically currently only for Sweet Sentiment. And um, I actually have two because of the live, it makes life easier but they are uh, made specifically to hold the markers and so you guys can easily see what marker I'm using when I'm live and also so you can keep track of where you are in the sequence of colors that you're doing. So there's a multitude of different reasons for it, but um, my husband designed it one time because he was like, I think this will really, really help you because the markers are laying all over your desk and rolling around and stuff. It's a little bit frustrating. And so he made it and Jamie saw it and said, we should do that, offer that to other people too. So we did. So it's called the Color Blend Stand. And you can see that at sweetsentiment.us. So here's the card. Sweetsentiment.us. That's where you can get, that's the only place that you can get this color blend stand. Okay, that's N4. And stick around because I'll probably be using a lot of other things you haven't seen. So feel free to ask if you 
see something and you want to know about it. So I need this color to blend just a little more smooth. I want to keep it light, so I'm going to go over it again just to make sure I get some really smooth blend out of that. So I'm pretty happy with that. I do think I want to go back with the N6 real quick and kind of add a little bit more in here to give it a little more depth closer to. And then I'll go back with the N4 and smooth that out a little bit. But we have to remember when we're using these lower numbers, N4, N3, N2, um, we ship to the UK or there's a shop in Northern Ireland that carries our items. Yes, Judith Lunn. She um, carries our stuff, our um, supplies in the shop. So uh, in the UK. So that's great for you. Thank you, Jamie, for saying that because I know that, but I just didn't even think of that when I was talking. Um, okay, so now we have the outside done, and now I want to make the, the heart gem to be this blue color that we did the body in. So I'm going to flip back to um, B18, B16, and BG15 are the three colors that I used. Yes, Jude Creates is her page. Mm -hmm. And if you can't find her, definitely just send me a, a DM after the live and I can give you all that information as well. Um, thanks, Jamie. Hi, Sharon. I think I'm going to need another color or two lighter than that, but if I need it, we'll, um, we'll get to that when we get to that. So, um, I'm going to start with my B18, and I want to build this in as a little bit more of a heart, um, so I'm going to just put a little bit of a, a little bit of a triangle, if you will, right here, kind of like a heart would dip in. And then I'm going to go around the outside. But I'm only going to go up to about right here. Now, it's hard to see this blue on there right now because it's so dark. But I think it's really going to be apparent when I start adding the other colors to it. Hey! I know what that means. Hey, little girl. <laughs> B16 is going to be the next one. Okay, I'm going to turn it right side up because doing a heart right side up is a little bit easier. So I'm extending out from where that last color was and up here at the top, I'm going to go all the way around because we're really only using three colors unless we feel the need to add in an additional one for highlight. So you could just color this um, solid however you wanted. I built in a little bit of depth in here just because I like it that way. I want it to look a little bit more like a heart, like the, like the heart is rounded like this. So I'm going to do the lighter colors. Um, on the sides and then the very top will be shiny almost like a gemstone with the curves so that's my plan you got to run to the store okay we don't have any bags like to give the customers when they purchase stuff if you need to grab some of those Jamie that's the only thing I can think of right now okay so I'm gonna start um, blending out from this last color so I'm gonna kind of hang out a little bit on the line where the two colors meet to kind of get that to smooth out a little bit. This almost makes me think of a, um, a mood ring. <laughs> Do you guys remember those? I used to love those mood rings. Of course, I was always cold, so my color was always black. instead of the pretty blue that you get when you're warm. Okay, so a little bit more TLC right here along that line to make that go away. Okay, 
And then I don't want to. Well, hello. hello. Don't leave just yet. Are you leaving? Are you taking my grandbaby now? Yes. Haley just showed up. She's going to take the grandbaby. Taking the baby. We're live right now. He ran away. I heard it. Peter uh huh. Peter Parker. <laughs> Peter Parker took off. Okay. So, one second, guys, real quick. Um, I put everything in his bag. Your Legos are right here, yours and his. There should be one, two, three, there should be five. Yay. I got Haley a Lego at the show because she dressed up like Lady Thor, so I got her a Lego. Lady Thor, isn't that cute? Uh huh. He wanted it. Okay. And Sam. And Sam. Amazing. And he was a good boy. He did everything good. He said he put his sound machine back in the um, in the bag. And I think that's it. I don't think I really had anything else. Um, oh, he had left some pant jeans here. Two different pairs. So they're in his bag. Had to put that Spider-Man suit on right away. He's Spider-Man all the way down to his socks right now. He's dripping. <laughs> yes. Drip too hard. Look at how beautiful that looks. There's one shoe. You know, I've been picking up some tips that you've been talking about, so thanks for that. Oh, you're welcome. No problem at all. Look at how gorgeous that is. It is so beautiful. So I'm really, really happy with how this came out. Now we are going to die cut it real quick, and we're going to make... Um, you can color like this. You just have to get the set and color with me. You can do it too. Um, we're gonna die cut these out with the because this is our um, this is our stamp set. We're gonna die cut it out and um, and then we're gonna make it into an, a memory dex card. And we are gonna do that right now. So stick around so you can see. It won't take too awful much longer. I have my die cut machine actually right here with me on the floor because I've been cutting stuff all day. So I just have to plug it back in because I had to unplug it when I started the live. But thank you so much for for watching and liking the coloring. I. I've been coloring for a long time, but I just love to do it so much. So you guys will have to bear with me because the noise from the die cut machine will be rather loud. It is a Gemini. And you should see my poor warped, oh my gosh, my warped plates are so bad from all this cutting I've been doing today. Here is, so I'm just going to, I have my dies already, our stamp set. So this is the stamp set that has, um, I don't know what I did with it. I showed it to you guys on the live when I first started, and then I laid it somewhere, and now I cannot find it. Oh, here it is. So this is the stamp set. I'm going to actually zoom out so you guys can see a little better. Okay, so this is the stamp set that we're working with. This is the stamp that we used and then we have matching dies so I'm going to actually put so many little fuzzies going on here I'm gonna place the die over the stamp that we did try to get it on there perfectly you're a night owl you usually stop to stay up oh see I usually am live at night um, 9.30 central time. I'm taking, this is actually Jamie's live time, but I took on her live today because she's super busy. I have my shoes on without socks. Oh my gosh. Are you leaving with mommy now? Yes. Bye, baby. Thank you for spending the night with me. Okay, so now I'm going to put this one over the sentiment. So all our dies have the um, a die cut for the image and a die cut for the sentiment. And um, that way you don't have to cut anything out, which is super great. 
So with this Gemini, you have to actually cut with the dies face down. So I just tape them on there. And then I place this on top. And you see how the color bled through the paper a little bit? This is the Sweet Sentiment paper, and that is supposed to look like that. It shows the saturation. It's not bad to see. You will always see it through there. Okay, running it through my Gemini. Hey, Cooper, Pop says hi. He said hi, I don't know if you can hear him because the machine's going. Okay, we only needed one pass and we only needed to do it once because we had both of them set up on there at the same time. So I just slide it off of here and then we'll peel it off. But that's, that's it, that was quick. So now I'm gonna peel this off. This is pretty good, uh, pretty flexible washi tape, but sometimes it sticks, so we're gonna hope it doesn't stick today. I usually wipe it on my hand first so I don't it doesn't rip the paper. That worked perfectly. So let me show you that cut. Look at how great that cut is. I mean, that cut out the sentiment so perfectly. Look at that. It's amazing. And if you want to, if you'd like to have another little tip, if you just like getting the tips and the tricks that people use. So when I buy my, my stamps and dies, all of them, not just Sweet Sentiment, but any stamps and dies that I buy, I package them in these Avery L envelopes that I get from Amazon. Avery L is the name of them. And they're just a clear envelope. They're like a five by seven envelope. And I label them the name of the stamp set. And then this little sticker right here, it's just a, I just cut it out of sticker paper. And I place it on there. What that means is when I'm filtering through my stamp sets, this is the stamp with a matching die. And then the stamp sets in between, that's where the stamp set stays. And then the die, I take the back paper and I put these magnets that I also got on Amazon. They're um, business card magnets that are already sticky on the other side. So you just peel the little white thing off and stick them on here. And then that's how I put all my dies. That's how I store all my dies so they don't go rolling around everywhere. And it works out really great for me. I love it. So it's just a... Uh, it keeps everything organized and pretty, and you can just, I haven't cut all of these apart yet, but you can just slap on there what you need, and then they stay, see, they stay attached, and then you just slide them in here, and then you always have the dies with the stamps, so it's not a, I forgot, or I don't want to dig it out, or I don't know where that stamp is. And look at how wonderfully that cut it out. Even cut these little insides out, which I super love. So next, we're going to put it on here. Now, it looks gorgeous on this white all by itself, but we're going to go a little bit, a step further. I believe I have some really good colors on my... Um, on my distress sprays and I'm going to show you what they look like and we're going to use them. We used them the other night when I did a live but I like them so much that I wanted one more um, with those same sprinkles. So the one we did the other night was May and it came out like this and I just sprayed it right here on the live for you guys to see. So we're going to do that one more time. We're just going to use this November card and I'm actually going to mask it a little bit um, so I'm going to take this leftover um, photo magnets six by nine yeah that's perfect Allison that's a great idea that's a great tip I buy them in bulk on Amazon but you can definitely do that so I'm just going to take this extra piece of paper that I have and I'm just gonna stick it over the words because I, I don't want the, I, 
I did it on the other one. I let the spray go on the other one, but on this one, I just feel like I want it to be a little different. So I'm just going to tape this over the top of the card. If I can stop wiggling it around. There we go. So I just want to put it over the top so when I spray it, I don't spray the, the word. And then I'm going to lay it in my box. This is like the, I don't know, Tim Holtz splat box, I guess you would call it. It's Tim Holtz splat box for spray paint some more. So that way I can spray it and you guys can watch me spray it and it doesn't go all over my desk, which is awesome. So I don't have a lot of these colors, but I think I have some of the right colors. So this is like a, called Snowflake Flurries. I have a green, which I think would look pretty cool too. This one's called Peppermint Stick. This one's called Winterberry. I think I'm gonna, um, I'm not gonna put the, this one is Frosted Juniper. I think I like the snow flurries. I don't know. I might do just two blues and maybe a green. The green might look good. I have a holly branch. Looks like I have all Christmas stuff and I have a tree lot. I think the tree one would be better. This one's going to be too yellowish. But, um, all right. So I'm going to put a tad of the peppermint in there. Not a lot, but it'll be enough of a pinkish. or I wonder if maybe the winter berry would be more pink. Let me shake them up and we'll look at them and see what we think. So we have to shake them up. Hi, Rosemary. We have to shake them up because they have the mica in them. So see how pretty that is. This one is more pink. I think this one might look better. Let me shake the red and we'll look. Because, our, yeah, this is too deep red. I think not the red. I'm going to shake this one too. You should be able to hear the little mica balls rolling around in there. And if you don't, they're probably stuck. But this one I think is too just an off green. It's not the right color green. Hi, Barbara. Okay, so I'm just mixing up my mica spray so I can make sure that they spray the right way. So this one is going to be like a deep green, which I think if I just spray a teeny bit of it, it's going to look really, it's going to bring out that, um, that BG, that little bit of green that's in that image we did. This one I think is super pretty. I may start with the two blues and then I'll put a little bit of pink and if I feel like it needs the green I'll add that and if not I'm not going to. I'll probably skip that. All right here we go. This blue is really bright. I think this blue is going to be pretty but not a whole lot of it. I think most of it's going to be this one called Frosted Juniper. A little bit of pink and maybe the green. So the blue, the bright blue and the green are going to go off to the side. Hi Cheryl. Yes, it was supposed to be Jamie today. However, because of the news on her niece that she talked about yesterday, she's leaving town earlier. And so she's trying to get ready, and I didn't think that she would have time, so I took her live today. Okay, so here we go. Frosted juniper first, okay? So you just squirt it wherever you want. That's it. Give it a second, and it dries fast, so you don't even have to worry about it. So, so far, in between each step, we'll look at it. See how pretty that's going to be with that color? I think it's awesome. But I think it needs just a tad bit of the pinkish color. So, I'm going to try to put it just in some little spots around the corner. I want you to be able to see when I spray it. 
So I'm spraying very, very lightly and only at the top two corners. Yeah, so I'll still be live tomorrow night. Um, and then I'll leave Wednesday morning. And I almost think, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to try this blue one. I think this is going to be too bright a blue. So I think we're going to stick with the two that we did. And then I'm going to spray this green off to the side so I can see it. I might actually like the green at the bottom, just in big splats. So I'm just barely um, pulling the trigger and it's given me much bigger splats of the green. I just want a tad bit of green so it kind of pulls the, the green from the color. So I'll show you how beautiful that's really going to pop on that page. So once you um, spray it, like most of it is already dry. This one is still wet. But that's sweet sentiment paper. So it's not this cheapo paper that I have right here. <laughs> Okay, so I took off my little, I took off my little, um, my little marker that I had so I didn't get anything up there on the November. Not that it would be a problem if you did, but just for this particular project, I didn't really want that to be on there. I wanted it to be white up here and then all very colorful all around the rest of it. So see how I did, I, the way that I squeezed the bottle and you just have to practice with it, I got big splotches of the green so you can really see that. So I think that helps pull out a little bit of the green color in the blue. So I'm going to put this one here. I haven't decided if I'm going to pop it up yet or not. And then this sentiment, I want to put the sentiment down here. I mean, oh my goodness, this is so pretty. There, let me turn a little bit, the light a little bit off so you can really see it. Okay, so these are, I just have this in it. This is where I have my sprays that we talked about. They're distressed mica sprays. I just have them in one of these totally Tiffany bags. So it's an easy, quick get out, then put it away. So I don't have to worry about that much at all. And then I'm going to pull out some of the dots that we have in our shop, like the enamel dots. Oh, you just ordered the stamps today? I saw that order come through, Cheryl. You're going to love them. They're so much fun to color. Um, I'm going to go through some of these dots that I have on hand and see if I can find the right color. So these are some that we have in the shop. I kind of like these. I don't know, that blue might not be quite right. Let me turn that light a little bit so I can see a little better. It might be okay, but I think I'm gonna wait. These are epic right here. That's the wrong colors. That's the wrong colors. That purple's kind of pretty. Let's hold that purple out. I might. I like the purple better than the blue. And then, of course, if you're really a fan of um, that blue is really pretty too. I kind of like the sparkly one. Um, we have translucent, so you could put that on anything. You could do silver or this bright pink. I like the purple better. There's no surprise there. That would be pretty, too, because it's almost like the gold. And then I have gold sparkle or silver sparkle. This is called precious metal, so gold, silver, copper. These are the ones that are shiny. Um, foil is what they call it. So you could do the foil and the gold, the silver, or the purple. I think I like the sparkly one, but I could do that one too. I think it's down to those two. These are not all this, the the um, these are not all the ones I have. These are just the ones I pulled out first. I have all, almost all the ones we have in the shop. So I have this purple or that purple. 
And although I think this one actually matches the color a little closer, I kind of like this one better. So I think I'm going to go with that one. It's just a personal preference. So I'm going to pull these out of the package so we can see them up close. And then I think I'm going to pop that up a little bit. So in the shop, we also have sweet pops. I cut mine apart, throw them in this jar. You can cut them up to the sizes you need. If I didn't use them all, I throw them back in the bucket so I can use them on something later. And I, I love that about them. And then the large ones fit like on the projects so well. If this was a card, I might even put a sweet spring on it and make it wobble around a little bit because I think that'd be really neat too. But since it's just going to be in my... Um, in my, in my Rolodex, I don't really need it to wobble around. I, I don't know about you guys, but I am loving doing um, stuff in my... I'm loving doing these for my... For my box. I just think they're awesome. I'm going to cut these down. I actually have scissors that cut... Um, tape so they're sticky but they're I only cut sticky stuff with them so I put washi tape around the handles so I know which one's which okay so I'm going to cut another one and this one I want to cut a piece for the center heart and then I want to cut these smaller pieces for the wings which is going to leave me one teeny tiny one, which I'm going to cut in half and put on the little bitty legs at the bottom. Now, do you need to do all this detail? Probably not, but it is going to be in a Rolodex. It's going to get a little squished and a little moved around, so I want it to be pretty good. So I'm going to stick this one here. I don't like it when one part of it, like, smashes down, so... I try to get them all on there everywhere. I have an obsession with these sweet pops. Once I put them on, I need like a million of them all the time. It's okay. You can laugh at me. I laugh at me too. All right. And then there's one for the stone. And then I touch it and make sure it doesn't like dip down anywhere. This one, I'm actually just going to use my Barely Art glue and just glue it right on there. I love the Barely Art glue. Any of you guys who live in areas where the glue freezes and some places can't ship there, that, that's not a problem with this particular glue. You can ship it anywhere. It even says on the bottle, it thaws if frozen right there use all year. Now, it doesn't get cold enough to freeze the bottle here in Texas, but it does get really hot, and I haven't had any problems with it in the heat either. So, just to let you know that. And then I'm going to use my espresso, which I use all the time. Isn't that just super cute? It's a coffee cup. We have these in the shop as well, and I'm just going to press that down so I get the glue e evenly distributed. Sometimes I just turn it over and rub it a little bit to make sure it's on there really good. And it actually says, live each day, each day with the scarab in your heart. Use your imagination and creativity to expand your horizons and grow new insights. And then I'm going to take these back pieces off so I can stick down this. Then we'll add our bling and we'll be done. It'll be perfect. I'm loving this one. Nothing is better for the November. So the reason that I did this, if you guys weren't on the live when I first started it out, was because November is Jamie's birthday. And she loves the Egyptian stuff. So I thought, well... What would be better than doing Jamie's favorite thing on my November calendar? Because that's when I have to mark her birthday. 
So I'm gonna put this right here. This just came out so beautifully, and I like that background. I'm real. I like the colors that I chose. I was a little nervous because I haven't used those mica sprays as much as I would like, and so I'm never a hundred percent sure what the color is gonna be when I spray it out, but it worked out perfectly. I like that it has a little bit of the red up here and a little bit of the red down here. It's perfect. And now we're gonna bring out a little bit of the purple with these little dots. And I think I'm not gonna use the largest one. I just wanna use these little ones. So for this one, I'm just gonna put three little dots on here. I think you're very talented with your color. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. Thank you so much, Stacy. I really appreciate that feedback so much. I like to tell you all about why I pick things and why I chose to do it. I think I might actually put two more on here, only just, I don't know, I'm just feeling it today. So I'm gonna stick, I usually try to stay with odd numbers so I did the three, and now I felt like I just wanted to do just a little bit more, so I chose two more on this corner. Although, I kind of wish I'd have put it over here. There we go. So now we have five. Always stick with an odd number. It's just everything in life is in odd numbers, it seems like. And then I just put them back in my package, in my packaging and store them. So I always remember if I run out where I got it from. <laughs> and so this is what we have from our um, stamp set to this beautiful project. It came out really nicely. I'm just going to move it around a little bit so you guys can really see. That's our sweet sentiment paper. It has sparkle in it so you can see it as I move it around. And the deep depth of that coloring came out great. I'm super happy with that. And you can see how well the die cuts cut everything out just with the little white border around them. So beautiful. So thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. I will be live tomorrow night at 9.30 Central Time. So definitely come back. I mean, maybe we'll just... I'll try to come up with something for another month because these cards are so much fun and I still have like seven months to go to get them done. I need to get them done and I don't take the time to do them. So a live is the perfect time to do it. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you learned from the coloring and the crafty stuff. And if you have any questions or need any information, definitely reach out. We're here to help. And we appreciate you taking your time with us today. Thank you so much, ladies. I'll see you soon.